When the gun went off, there was no telling what lied ahead for some of the most celebrated Kenyan athletes. World half marathon champion Geoffrey Kamoror pulled out of the men's 10,000 meters final with stomach pains, giving world 10,000 meters bronze medalist Paul Tanui an Olympic ticket. The race today was really tough, Passing, uh, and uh, for those no, my fellow uh, athletes who have dropped out, uh, I don't uh, think it was uh, by their luck, it was a bad luck to them, but I'm really sorry for them. Kenya and Ethiopia headed for a strong competition after former world champion Vivian Cheruiot won her second event, the women's 5,000 meters. World javelin champion Julia Ziego threw 81.04 meters to win an Olympic ticket. Four-time world steeplechase champion Ezekiel Kemboi also made it to the Rio Olympic Games. However, Commonwealth 800 meters champion Eunice Sum suffered shock defeat to new challenger Margaret Nyayera who immediately issued a challenge to South African champion Casta Semenya. Everybody is beatable because uh, up to now I become aggressive to beat the Unisum. The same I'll do to focus on the Olympic and, I'll be, and I know everybody is beatable. Another shock awaited 800 meters world record holder David Udisha, who suffered his third consecutive defeat in as many races. The Olympic champion finished third and blamed the elements for his defeat to world youth champion Alfred Kipketer. I can say, you know, we, be, we did a bit of mess yesterday, running very fast, 143.4, 143.3. I think that uh, in altitude uh, takes a lot from the body. And uh, today I was feeling my legs a little bit tired, but uh, I'm happy I was able to hold on. However, there was no surprise in the men's 1500 meters where three-time world champion Asbel Kiprop won easily with Faith Chepngetich choking up yet another victory to send an early warning to Ethiopian rival Genzebe Dibaba and world bronze medalist Sifan Hassan of the Netherlands in the women's 1500 meters. Kenya has selected a strong team to the 2016 Rio Olympic Games after the conclusion of a qualification process that lasted two days. But it is a first step towards a long road for qualification and validation for Kenyan athletes to the Rio Olympic Games. Sadiq Shaban, CCTV, Eldoret, Kenya.